What's up, everybody? John from JohnnyOctave.com. And today I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to talk about a technique that I use uh, to keep my, my guitar playing as clean as possible. It's a technique called first finger muting. And I see a ton of guys using it. Well, everybody I know that I jam with or play with uh, uses this technique. Whether they know it or not, uh, it just simply works. And it's a technique that I use with my uh, fretting hand, my index finger on my fretting hand, to keep uh, you know, open strings and unwanted string noise from happening. So uh, what I'm going to do is it's going to hopefully going to be a you know, fairly short lesson. And let me zoom in and show you guys what's happening. All right, everybody. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain this first finger muting, and I'm going to use um, an A minor pentatonic scale as the example. And what that is, really quick, if you don't know, is uh, five eight on the sixth string, five seven five seven five seven on the A string, D string, and G string. Back to five eight five eight on the high uh, on the B string and the high E string. Okay. So those are the notes that I'm going to be using. Now the idea here of first finger muting is when I'm playing, say for instance, this first note in this scale, I happen to be floating my finger or very lightly touching uh, every other string underneath the one I'm playing. Okay. So in case maybe my hand over my right hand overshoots the note um, or any number of things happen while I'm while I'm playing guitar. Uh, these are all kind of protected in that you can't really hear them. They're just muted out, okay? So as I play up the scale, the first finger keeps doing that as long as, that, as, long as it can. So I go 5, 8 to the next note in the scale, okay? I go 5, 7. Now right here, and I just want to mention one thing really fast, is that I am going to make... Uh, uh, give some examples and make some reference to, to palm muting, what I do with my right hand when my first finger muting kind of goes away. Uh, but I'm not going to totally get into the palm muting thing. But uh, anyway, so I go 5-8, you know, on the bottom string, 5-7. And then what I happen to still be doing here is touching the bottom string with my, the tip of my index finger. But my first finger over on this side, okay, is still muting out the strings, okay? Um, every string above the one it's playing, so that's kind of the rule. Uh, so it's still muting out D, G, B, and E, okay? So when I get here, this is where, it, you know, you're kind of in the middle of the, st of the strings, you're in the D string or G string, and you can't do anything with this bottom string here, this low E string. Now certainly I'm still blocking out this A string with my, the tip of my first finger, but now what happens is my palm starts to take over, uh, my right, my picking hand palm starts to take over the muting job of the sixth string, okay? So we've got this, first finger's totally engaged there. Still kind of doing a lot of work. Right here, my palm starts to take over, okay? But still, my first finger is muting every, every string again above the one it's playing. Right there, still muting out everything above, but certainly now I, I don't have as much control down here, so my palm's trying to take care of the job to keep everything just as clean as possible. Right there, I'm still muting out the, the high E string with my first finger, and my palm's starting to do uh, the job that my first finger was doing, okay? And now here I am on the, top, the high E string, okay, and my palm is really doing a big job of just kind of keeping the strings quiet, okay? And as I go in reverse, the jobs kind of trade back. Now, I'm always using, um, to some degree, all of the techniques of muting. You know, there's, 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 there's tons of people, uh, you know, muting techniques that people I don't even think know about, but they, they use. Um, but right now, we're just talking about first finger muting. And certainly, this, uh, this first finger muting with the left hand here and right hand kind of work in conjunction with one another, okay? So if I play the scale up, again, one more time, first finger muting is really doing a lot, okay? Just kind of the key word here is lightly touching. Right over here, if you push too hard, then it's going to be a bar, and if you sh overshoot it, you're going to hear notes. 
Okay, so the key there is to lightly touch the strings. And then once I get to the top there, like I said, palm is doing a big job. And then they trade back as I play down the neck. Or to the, you know, to the bottom strings there. Um, so if I played a... Played a line like that, um, it, you can see that it's something that you really have to uh, be aware of when you're practicing to hopefully get it in the in this in the second nature side of your playing. So you're not thinking about it, and you're thinking about making music and and uh, and playing cool ideas. But uh, when you're when you're sitting down, and you're practicing this, and you're you're struggling with the um, your, your guitar playing not being clean, um, really take a look at this first finger muting technique because I have a feeling that it will really help out. So you guys have fun with that and I'll see you next time. <laughs>